Hi, uh, I am Malla. Uh, today I am going to explain about operational branch. Um, so basically, operational branch node. Uh, this is we can route the incoming request messages to uh, different target systems. Uh, so if you want to expose your service to the rest of the world using different services, uh, different operations. So that time we are going to use operational branch. So let's start with it. I already created one XSD. This is a simple XSD request and response. Uh, here I took num1 and num2, numeric1 and numeric2 and the results. Uh, coming into the operational visitor. I just created two operations here. One is add, the another one is a subtraction. Okay, uh, I think uh, few people may know about how to create visitor, uh, how to create XSD. Uh, based on XSD, how we are going to create visitor and operation uh, operations. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to explain you about operational branch so here I am taking HTTP adapter uh, then name it as like operational branch business. so we are generating pipeline next so select physical Okay, browser visitor. I don't find here. Just go in the file system. Resource. We have the operational visitor. Just take this. Okay, here it can. Import location. We need same. So we want to make it in resource itself. So just Select the resource part. Next, finish. Okay. Then next. So this is end point array. Keep it like this only. We are not going to change anything now. Just finish. Okay. See here, I think something. This is actually a binding issue. Just open the proxy service. Okay, it's a message handling. So this is a SOAP action header. Just select the SOAP action header. Save. Okay, I am opening pipeline now. We have the start node. This is a start node, so I am just pick operational branch, just drag and drop. Okay, by default it created add operation, but I want to add even sub operation. So for that, just click here, so it will add another branch here. So there is a two add operation, so that's why it is showing the red mark. So just make it drop down, select sub. So now we have the two branches based on the operation. Okay, I'll just write a simple logic here. For add, I will add two numbers. For subtraction, I will subtract two numbers. This is a simple use case I am taking. So based on your requirement, you have to implement your logic. Okay, I think you might know about the replace activity. Uh, this is actually replace entire body. So that's why I am taking body here. So where you want to replace? If you want to replace particular thing, you can select. But here I am not replacing 
I'm replacing entire body. So that's why I just took the current position. Okay. Then here it is the expression we are going to write. Okay, I am just using compare sum of two numbers. I'm just writing it is for this uh, minus extract the body. So just observe here we have the add and subtraction. So this is we are implementing add. So that's why you have to take under add request. Under request you have the num1 and num2. You have to take these two elements. Plus then take num2. Just close it. Save. Same thing I'm going to implement for the sub. Just take print pair. Same like replace. So I'm replacing entire body here. Stack body. Same like cat difference if that pin two numbers. I'm just writing, you can write whatever you want here. I'm just writing simple thing. Okay. Now we have to take elements under sub operation so there's a little bit careful we have to do this close the bracket make it okay, okay i think there's some issue because it is showing that right okay that's like different area I implemented. It's supposed to write this one here. Okay, let's go. Save. Okay, we done everything. So I'm going to deploy this service mode. Just deploy. Hello, service. Okay, anyhow, already I deployed this service that is there in that server. We are going to test this. Huh? Okay, here it is a service. Open. So I'm going to test with pipeline. So I'm launching test console. So this is, you can see here, here we have the two operations, one is add, the another one is subtraction. So what I am doing, first I am going to add two numbers, just like thousand thousand, that's fine. Just execute it. Yeah, the sum of two numbers is two thousand. So we are good here, right? Okay, just back. Then took subtraction. And add 2000. Just to execute. See here, subtraction result is 1000. Okay. Do another one. 3000. Just to execute. So see here, we have the minus 1000. So our service is working well, fine. Thank you. Signing off. Malla.